So Ketika just brought this, um, I don't know, what, what, is, what is it? It looks like Mopani worms. Yeah, it looks like a Mopani worm. Probably the same family, but um, I don't know if it's the exact thing. We're going to have to look it up uh, online. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it should be this popular here. I know it's got to do with Mopani trees, and this is not even a Mopani tree. It's mostly popular in Matibele and in the Midlands, the Mopani worm. So we have to find out uh, what this is. But it certainly looks like it's in the same family, but just not sure if it's edible, and we're not going to try. Dust, be gone. Screeding work to contain menacing dust from the rough floors was started on this house section yesterday. We have been adding water to help the screed set. In the kitchen section, the floor has also been done in the kitchen itself, the pantry, and the scullery. This ancillary piping will supply hot and cold water as well as gas to the kitchen island.
Flooring work is fast approaching this dining and lounge area. The immediate task is to remove all the items here and make way for the builders to work. In the next 24 hours, this room should be fully covered in dust-free cement screed. Cement screed is a low-cost method of flooring that enables the floor to be polished and used without any need or pressure for immediate tiling. Once this is done, we shall be able to put rugs or carpets temporarily for however long we need to before we get tiles done. The deck, one of our treasured hangout locations. Until we have an overhead shed, we can only sit here comfortably from morning until noon when the sun fully takes over. Inside the house, some rooms have now been done. Work will soon progress to the passage. The solar system works as expected, powering the entire house's lighting requirements. The service loo will also get screeded. Its door is temporary and shall be replaced when we do the rest of the internal doors. Currently, only the external doors are permanent. At the minute, the builders are putting the floor in this room. Each room requires between two and three bags of superset cement, which is the strongest grade. Prices have since come down to $11 per bag from a high of $22 in late 2023. This morning, we remove the external door, which comes here at the end of the passage. Two-way switches installed on both ends of this passage control the passage lights. So I have just received this package from our caretaker. 
You say that it's from our neighbor. We, a few days ago, we just gone there to pay our condolences. Or in that um, there was a, a sad, tragic incident. They lost one of their children. So she just sent a packet with some fresh millies, which is a, <clears throat> a very nice gesture. So I'm just preparing it uh, to have as our snack tonight after supper. Screeding has parts to it, wetting the rough floor, adding cement mixed with river sand, which is the first layer, rammed flat and as even as possible, before adding a cement porridge that is leveled and smooth enough. Ideally for us, screeding should have been done before wall skimming to keep the walls as clean as possible before painting. We have since learned that change of plan for a variety of reasons is the language of construction projects. Wow, it's fantastic to see the bananas in this state. They are doing very well and uh, the lines are clearly showing different the rows of the plantation. Um, just recently been, been trimmed, the caretaker was here doing some trimming work and uh, it looks really good. I had to believe these were tiny little banana plants just uh, several months ago. So it looks like we're gonna be having some fruit not long from now. Mm. The leaves are prickly too. <laughs>
yeah. Scissors. Kitchen scissors. So I got what I came for. There's still pretty, like a lot of a lot of the cucumber here, but for today this will do. Um, usually people just enjoy this as a snack, um, but you know you can add it to a salad, even um, on a veggie sandwich if you like. Um, yeah different types of salads as well cucumber and tomato salad or even in a in a coleslaw salad so yeah for today i'm just going to clean this up remove the prickly heads and then we're just going to have this as a snack things are shaping up about a quarter of the passage is now done we are sleeping tonight without the passage door so the cement can sit. In this room, things also look good. The screed is sitting well. A few touches are left to be done at the door. So first you have to remove the prickly heads so that you can handle the cucumber. The floor in this room is all set and ready to use. I have decided to get on my knees to mop and clean the floor and get a look and feel of things. Since the installation of this floor yesterday, the dust is gone. Thank you. 
It's early morning and I'm just coming back from the local shops. I had to go this morning to pick a few basics. Instead of walking, I got a bike ride from a local contractor who had come to the house to see us. So I've been seeing a lot of these beautiful wildflowers all around the property. They're just so pretty. And they make everything just look so beautiful. It's just nature's way of making things look pretty and beautified. I just love them. Especially along the driveway here. There's so many of them. I'd really love to make a bouquet out of them. The passage is done. We are now free to walk on the new floor. The water will be on the floor for another 24 hours for cement setting. We will also reinstall the doors then. The squeeding work inside the house is now completed. Focus turns to sprucing up the outside, beginning with the long outstanding planter. The work here involves plastering the brickwork of the planter. We first needed to scoop some excess soil out of the structure to facilitate the plastering. Other works out here will include plastering the side of the deck, which has exposed brick, putting touch-ups on corners as well as closing the area around some sewer pipe work on the deck.
So the power to the pump will be coming from here. Um, this is the cable. So here we'll connect the, the line to the pump. This is a controller, excuse me, this is a breaker for, for the pump. Uh, I think it's a, it's a 16 amp, it's a 16 amp breaker. So we'll manually control the pump here on and off if we need to. Uh, and this is obviously the wiring and the way it's, it's earthed. So, so if ever we're going to have uh, electricity in future for uh, the grid, it will also come through this point into, into the house. There's a kitchen window. And then you've got the box here. And again, our, our line to the pump, which brings out, uh, takes power from the inverter system inside the house, the solar system to the pump. And it's properly earthed to the ground. And also, the roof. This lawn was transplanted by our caretaker a few weeks ago. It came from the lush green original patch on the right. This water comes directly from the mountain spring at this pressure. Sometimes it can be higher or lower. So this is the first flamboyant tree. Um, it's been growing rapidly. I, uh, we attribute this to the rains. Uh, the more rains that we received in the last two to three months have really boosted the, uh, the trees. So this kind of confirms the theory that to grow this faster you need more water. Um, yeah, we are quite impressed with how they are going. This is about um, one and a half meters high now and we should be pruning the, the leaves. There are no branches as yet, uh, just a lot of leaves, which we understand should be pruned and just leave um, maybe a third uh, of the leaves uh, going up to the top intact. So yeah, this is pretty impressive. Good going. Thank you. 
Okay, so a quick review on my new iron. Um, we looked around on social media to find out what kind of irons work on solar. And seeing as we are 100% solar, that was very important. Um, we are off grid, so we needed to find an iron that would work with the, the power that we have. So this is a dry iron. Um, that means it's not a steam iron and therefore it consumes less power. It's 300 watts, so it's perfect on a solar system. Um, it was only, actually the price range is from 13 to $20, but we bought it for, for 20 bucks. Um, it didn't feel good to see it later going for $13 somewhere else. But anyway, is it doing the job? Yes, it has, it has proven to be a good iron, small as it is, and um, it's actually very lightweight compared to um, a steam iron. Um, but it's, I'll give it, I'll give it some points, maybe, um, Eight out of ten. The other two points uh, are missing because when you're when you're ironing 100% cotton things um, like chinos that need a lot of heat, it will take slightly longer than when when um, I'm using my steam iron. So you need a bit of patience when you're ironing things that are heavier. But lighter things will be a breeze. Um, and also, um, I found that it's, it's perfect to iron during the day when your batteries are full and you're just using, um, kind of using the, the solar directly from the panels, the ends. So that way you're not depleting your batteries. So it's best to iron during the day in the afternoon. Um, unless if it's an emergency at night, then you would have to, but during the day would be the best time. So am I happy with it? Yes, I'm happy with it. You're not going to be walking around with creased clothes. Um, yeah. So this is um, the desk in the study that I've just converted into an ironing board. I did not come with an ironing board on this trip. Um, but I've just improvised and we also converted this study into our current room where we're sleeping whilst we're here. Um, but yeah, improvision makes makes things happen and makes things work. So yeah, I'm happy that the iron is working.
So the basic floor screed has been done using cement. The, we did a bit of sweeping, but the floors are still uh, dusty and we need to mop and clean up, which we plan to do on our next visit. Um, so far, this has contained a lot of dust that was uh, on the floors. After the cleaning, then we'll do the floor polish. Uh, there are a variety of options there. We'll see which one we'll go with. So this will be the state of the floor until we move on to the tiling stage. Um, as mentioned before, the idea is to have a, a basic usable house with all the basics in place and then we can move on from there and add uh, more the, the, the bells and whistles but yeah we are happy with the state of the floors uh, especially the dust which has been contained so doors are still to come and uh, they'll be installed this is the room we have cleared it. This was the room for storage of, of cement. Now we have these pipes left. But the doors are, will be coming to be installed. Uh, we'll clean up the door frames, put the doors on, uh, polish the floor, and start working on the, on the kitchen. The kitchen island. And the scullery. So far so good. Let's see where we go from here. So this is how the deck is now looking. Um, just a short tour here of the touch-ups that have been done to it. To it. The side here has been plastered. Um, this, was, this was exposed and showing the brick, but that has been closed up and um, the cement is just drying up. Following the cleanup that we did on the deck, this is how it's looking now. It was pretty messy uh, before the sweeping. So, the plan is still on the cards to extend the deck to about three meters in width. But for now, we are going to keep it like this and focus on other sub projects within the house. Uh, and then we'll come back to it and extend the deck as when we put the, um, the shed on the deck. 
this is the side of the deck where we have the 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 in suite uh, bathroom so these pipes are also waiting to be connected uh we have got the wastewater pipes for the uh, for the uh, for the sinks uh, basins and uh, for the um, the pipes for the toilets as well and also this has been sealed it was open uh, but it's been closed up because all the piping work um has been it been completed a short while ago so it was just waiting to be sealed up so when the builder came this part of the work that he did when he was doing the flow so we are quite happy that 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 place looks neater and this is the planter uh, the planter is also plastered and is ready to roll we are hoping to put the the flowers soon we've already identified which flowers will come here uh, it's been mentioned in past videos um, this area is mostly in the shed so we're going to put some flowers that are that uh, go along with uh, with shady places uh, with places that don't have uh, as much sunlight so yeah things look uh, good we are happy with how the the house is looking what's left now is a coat of paint which we think will be coming soon uh, to the house the house is ready for some painting and also we're going to add the, um, the gutters the front and the back uh, because the gutters have been, the lack of gutters has been responsible for uh, a lot of rain collecting here on the deck. Um, and some of it has actually been eating into the, this actually happened when the deck was plastered or the, the, the floor was put, was eating into the, into the concrete floor here of the deck, which was also sealed up um, when the touch-ups were being done. So yeah, the gutters will solve that problem. Um, an interesting addition here for the outside uh, power. When you want to work on the deck, you just get your power from there. Uh, the lighting is there as well. Okay, there's our lighting here. So this is a daylight switch, which is operated by um, uh, the switch which is on the roof uh, it switches on at about uh, 6 30 around this time of the year and the switch is off at about 5 30 uh, a.m in the morning 